In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 28, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, shall fight for thee. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rukha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, honest to you brothers that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and peace and grace and blessings be multiplied into the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right. Um, through the insp uh, inspiration of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rukha Kodash, um, this lesson came to me, you know, me and a couple of the brothers, we were just uh, speaking about um, a couple of dreams that, you know, each one of us had within the, like the last couple of days or uh, yeah, last few days or week. And, um, you know, uh, a bunch of us, well, two of us had had dreams about, um, you know, spies, um, agents. OK, uh, um, you know, family members turning uh, turning on us. And then another brother had a dream about um, the Centurions, you know, coming and uh, basically arresting us, you know, um, for teaching this word and you know i was i was uh you know just meditating on it um i got this uh the, the this uh message our our mind our right, spirit basically said that the lord um he said and he sets up you know he sets up the the uh the counter punch all right in order for in order for um this this uh word to be exalted and uh, you know order in order for you know the 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 um manifestation of you know the lord's elect to be made known the the left all right all the wicked has to attack okay and yahweh shai spoke about you know warned about all these things in the and even you know throughout the whole whole bible old testament new testament and apocrypha it always speaks about you know being in a position of uh of uh difficulty or adversity all right and if you endure that all right if you uh um you know take that all right cheerfully okay if you take that with with confidence and faith in the lord then ultimately we're going to come out as the victor all right so it made me think of um a, a counter punch all right or a counter attack because you know in fighting you know in boxing one of the greatest um and most devastating um uh, punches is the uh, counter is the counter punch, you know, so I just had, you know, just went on YouTube and just, uh, you know, typed in counter punch in boxing. And, you know, this came up, it says top 10 greatest counter punches, punches in boxing. And the one I'm about to show, you know, all of them was, you know, pretty, you know, pretty good. All right. They all basically led to uh, knockouts. All right. Because that's the thing with a counter punch. When you're when an attacker is, is coming, and if you are able to successfully, uh, you know, evade the attack, it opens up a uh, a um, a window of opportunity to counter that person's attack, and they're left vulnerable. And therefore, if you land it, you know, with with uh, precision, you can uh, you know knock them out. You can win the win the battle, win the, win that fight. And that's what the Lord is is you know doing, is going to do for the elect. See, the things that we're we are. Uh, expecting to come, you know, Esau, all right, coming, all right, those are the attacks that are going to ultimately set up a window of opportunity for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to use for a counter punch. And that counter punch that the Lord is going to use on Esau, all right, is going to ultimately be to his demise. It's going to be to him being taken out. So I'm going to play this one. All right. You know, this one happened back in 2012. All right. This is um, uh, Marquez against Pacquiao. You know, I remember when I first, you know, when I seen it, you know, <laughs> I thought he was dead. All right. I thought I thought Pacquiao, you know, I thought the spirit left his body when I first seen it because he was you know, I'm just going to show it. So this is um, Pacquiao. And uh, like I said, uh, Marquez. Sensational right hand knockdown. Yeah, right. You see that? Pacquiao missed the right, right hand. 
He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm because that's what has caused. So that's the shot. Bam, right on the button that the weightlifting definitely will help you with. That's the hardest and most dramatic shot we've seen in the sport since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20, 2010 in Atlantic City. All right, so, and when you see in that, in that, um, in that clip, all right, Pacquiao, he actually, because he was attacking, he actually ran into the punch of uh, Marquez, all right, because he was on the attack and he was, you know, coming with, with you know, uh, uh, um, that uh, um, fervency, he um, he got set up <laughs> to 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 run right into that punch, okay, which he didn't see coming, you know. So um, I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on that man because as I was like I said, as we were talking and we were you know speaking about these things, us that has this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you know, the ones of us that send this truth, we have to understand that the Lord is 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 making these attacks come, all right, and it's going to intensify, all right, that straight gate is going to get straighter, all right, these are the, the demonizations, the persecutions, the afflictions, all those things are going to intensify, but not for our demise, okay, it's not going, it's not going to get, get to that level of, uh, uh, the, the attack is going to over, overtake us to, a uh, um, you know, Esau is not going to be attacking us so that he can overtake us, the Lord is setting that up so that ultimately, the, uh, the counter punch can come. Okay. So let me read this in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 17. It says, but beware of men for they will deliver you up to councils and they will scourge you in your synagogues and ye shall be brought before governors and Kings for my sake, for a testimony and against them and the Gentiles. Okay. So you see the first, you know, chapter uh, verse 17 is the, is the attack. All right. So it says, that's why the Lord said, but beware of men. Understand that because we're out teaching, because we are believers in Yahweh Shai, because we, you know, uh, prophesy against this kingdom, that is going to cause an attack to come upon us. That is going to cause us to, to be um, uh, uh, targeted. All right. And with that, with that uh, uh, target, <clears throat> it's going to seem like, you know, they're going to, you know, have the upper hand. But ultimately, all that is for what? It says for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. You see? So it's really, the, those attacks is really setting up the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Everything that the left is doing is really setting up so that the right can be exalted. All right? Verse 19, it says, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or, or, or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given to uh, giving you in that same hour what ye shall speak and that goes back to us uh, uh ecclesiasticus 4 verse 28 all right strive for the truth until death and the lord shall fight for thee all right because the lord is a man of war all right and, and he he's a and he's a, the greatest uh, uh uh war general all right he is the one that is, is is setting up this whole this whole situation man so us being on the 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 right hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we we have the the mind and we can have the 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 comfort to know that no matter what attacks come, we're always going to the Lord is always going to set us up in a position to be able to successfully uh, counter attack it. All right, but the, in order to do a counter attack, the the attack, the attacker, you have to first be attacked. All right, you have to first have to uh uh have to uh, deal with the attacks first you know and that's why Yahweh Shai said that he that endureth unto the end because what you are enduring is all the the attacks all right you have to endure the attacks you can't let your guard down you can't get overwhelmed you can't be afraid because you see in that uh in that, in that clip in order to have a counter attack yeah you have a defense but you also have to be willing to you know, you can't crawl and, 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 you know, go in a bubble and just curl up because you won't ever be able to do the counterattack if you just curl up in the corner and just get hit with all these, with all these, um, with all the attacks, with all the punches. All right. And that's why the Lord said here, um, take no thought. All right. Take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it should be given to you in that same hour, which ye shall speak for it is not ye that speak. 
So it's not us that's ultimately that is doing the uh, the fighting. It says, but the spirit of your father, which speaketh in you. All right. The spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, through the Racha Kodash, the Holy Spirit, is the one that is going to uh, um, fight for us. So there's no, so there's no uh, uh, need to be afraid of the attacks that is coming. All right, let's get this next one. The book of John, St. John chapter 15, verse 20. Right, it says, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Right. Because, hey, even Yahweh Shai, he had to be attacked. He had to be uh, uh, betrayed. All right. He had to suffer all of those things. But for what was the reason? All right. What was the outcome of that? Was it because was it so that, you know, the the the, the Romans uh, uh, got glory? Was it so that, you know, Judas, you know, uh, uh, um, was successful in doing what he did? And was Judas, you know, praised for it in the later, you know, you know, and at the latter end, everything that was everything that happened, okay, was ultimately to lead unto Yahweh Shai getting his glory. All right, that's why the scripture says that you can't do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. The attacks that we're going to go through, the trials, the tribulation, the persecution that we're going through, is still for the truth's sake it's not for the the left it's not for the wicked it's not for this kingdom to uh uh get a you know better get to a better plateau for them really they're helping us get to our our glory all right esau coming down with wrath because he has a short time he's really set up to, to do that so that we can receive our our kingdom. All right. And he doesn't. And, and but the thing is, the see, the attacker doesn't ever really ever, you know, in, like in the, in the boxing sense, the ones who are attacking is not really thinking about oh, I'm attacking so that he can counterattack and I'm going to get knocked out. No, they're thinking that they're attacking, expecting to land these punches and expecting to uh, get the victory over the person that they're attacking. But because of that, <laughs> they get deceived and they they uh, open up a window of vulnerability to where that attack, that counterattack comes. And then in an instant, in a moment where they expect when they when they least expected it, they're they're getting punched. And the punch that they received, that one punch that they received was devastating to the point it knocks them out uh, uh, completely, man. And they don't get up. All right, and that's what the Lord is doing for us. So it says, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. So that's what we got to remember, man. Yahweh Shai, he got persecuted. All right, but he didn't get persecuted uh, uh, for, for, for him to lose. No, he got persecuted for him to also ultimately win. And that's what we're doing. That's the same stead, as he said, the servant is not greater than the, the master. That's the same position that we are in right now. All right. As long as you continue to stay steadfast. All right. You got to be unmovable. So when those attacks come, if you move out of the way of those attacks, now certain in certain boxing uh, 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 elements, you do sidestep and then you throw a punch. But if you run away from the attacks. You will never be able to set up the uh, counter punch. All right. You will never be able to set up that 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 set up that blow that is going to knock out your opponent. So you got to withdraw the adversity that is being given at that moment. All right. Isaiah 48 verse 10. It says, behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. You see that affliction is necessary in order to win. All right. The affliction is necessary in order to get the victory. You can't say it again. You can't get the counter punch unless you are getting attacked, unless you are unless you are having punches come thrown at you. OK, so so that's why the Lord always spoke about 
you know, uh, uh, um, enduring endurance, uh, 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 being temperament, which is what um, being having self control. All right, having patience because with it with a successful counterattack or a counterpunch, you have to have patience. Okay, you have to have patience if you want to land a successful counterattack. All right, or a counterpunch rather. All right, this is the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse um, one. It says, um, I'm going to start at, yep, I'm going to start at one. It says, then shall that righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, the attacks, and made no account of his labors. Why? Because they endured it. All right. They endured the, 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 the affliction. And then once it was time for the counterpunch to come, it was, it, it landed with uh with great precision man all right i must jump now to verse um three it says in repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit they say within themselves this was he whom we had sometime in derision and a proverb of reproach yeah we 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 smeared their name we slandered them all right we we, we uh uh persecuted them okay some of them you know we put to death some of them we tortured all right we made all types of uh, 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 ad hominem att attacks on them, thinking that they were going to fold, thinking that they were going to drop, all right, thinking we were going to knock them out. But no, in the end, they the, the righteous man is going to get the victory because the Lord is fighting for us, all right? Hey, even in Psalms, I believe that's 144, if I'm not mistaken, it says what? He teacheth our hands to war. All right, because this is a, we are at we are at a, in a spiritual uh, battle right now. Although our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but they are still mighty. All right, reading on it says, "We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor," and it's a foolish thing for a person to just you know throw punches, attack, 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 and not expect a a, a counterattack at some point. OK, not expect to get hit. And that's why, you know, as we always say in the book of uh, um, Isaiah, Isaiah, the 59th chapter. Let me get that. OK, Isaiah 59, verse 19, it says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. OK. But the, the enemy has to first come in like a flood in order for the Lord to lift up that standard. If the enemy never comes in like a flood, if the enemy never uh, 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 um, uh, come, in, uh, come into attack mode, then the, the, the Lord can never lift up that standard. There will be no need to lift up the standard if the, if the enemy never comes in like a flood. There will be no way to have a counterpunch if... The punches never come in first. You see, so this is why we 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 ultimately know that we have the victory, man. Okay, no matter what, we are in a position of 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 uh, uh, of of winning. You just have to do what you just have to be able to endure it. All right, you have to be able to withstand the um the 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 battle. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter two verse. Um, four, five, it says for gold is, is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right. An acceptable man in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, is, is found to be acceptable because of the adversity that they were able to withstand the adversity that they were able to endure. Okay. So that's why Yahweh Shai warned us of all these things. He warned us of uh, uh, that we we're going to be betrayed. He warned us that they we were going to be delivered up into the councils. He warned us that you know uh, um, we should be persecuted and hated by all men for His namesake, not to not to 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 bring us down or not to give us a mind of oh you know what we're just going to lose no, but for us to withstand those things and in the and in the right time He is going to deliver us, okay, and not only deliver us but He is going to deliver the enemies into our hand. The ones who are coming at us, he is going to deliver them into our hand, ultimately, when Yahweh Shai returns. All right. But the ones who 
are who who stay in the in the in the adversity uh, um field, the ones who don't, you know, the ones who stay in the ring, they're going to be the ones that get the victory. All right. No matter how much attacks are coming, as long as you stay in that ring, the time appointed, the time is going to come where the Lord is going to set up that standard. The Lord is going to set up that counterpunch and you will be the uh, 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 at the end. You will be the victor. You will get get victory. OK, but the ones who are timid, the ones who draw back, the ones who are afraid and leave the battle. Those are the ones who the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to have a, 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 a art against, man. Those are the ones he's going to uh, uh, have no pleasure in because you ultimately left the battle because you didn't trust that the Lord will fight for you. All right. You didn't trust that the Lord will, will uh, set up that standard. And if you don't have that faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as the scripture says, it's, it's going to be impossible to please him. All right. That, hey, going back to here, Romans 8. Verse, um, where is it? Um, yep. Uh, where is it? Salaki. I know it's eight. It said a creature. Yeah, here we go. A verse 20. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. Yeah. The creature is speaking about who? The, the sons of God. All right. We were made subject to, to, to being, being, uh, hit with these attacks. We were made subject to being, in a position that seems to the outside eye that we are that we are losing that we are that we are going to lose it says not willingly but by reason of hope asalaki but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope all right because that hope that's what that's that faith so we are being put in with our backs against the walls in the furnace of adversity so that we can have hope and faith that the lord will deliver us that the lord will provide for us that he will save us so that the ones who do stay uh, uh, um, in that position and don't lose hope, don't lose faith. That's the ones he's going to come and rescue from this, from these attacks. All right. Let me jump now to verse um, 35. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? All those things are what? Those are all various different attacks. All various different adversities. So are, are you going to let these various different adversities separate you from the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Are you going to let those different attacks uh, uh, um, take your hope, take your crown? All right, because as long as you stay in the ring, you're going to get the crown. That's why Yahweh Shai said, let no man take thy crown. As long as you keep fighting the good fight, you're going to win. But as soon as you decide not to, you are you you already lost. All right, that's just plain and simple. The left Esau, the wicked, can't win this fight. He can't win this fight. Only way that he gets any type of, of uh, uh, so, so like it, I can't even say that. Esau can't win, but you can lose. All right? Esau can't win this. The wicked can't win. But you can lose your crown or your position of victory if you have, if you believe that Esau uh, attacks is too much to, to, to bear. All right? So verse six, uh, 36 says, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter because it seems that we are just taking these L's. We're taking this, these, uh, these punches. All right. But that is only for, that's for a moment to set up the counter punch. That's all that the Lord is doing. He's just telling us to endure these punches. And on top of that, he's saying that I'm not going to give you any punches. I'm not going to allow Esau to punch you harder or more than what you can bear. Just believe that I'm I'm here. Believe that what, what you're going through is not something that is going to be for your downfall. And then at the right time, I'm going to open up the opportunity for that counterpunch and for your, your enemy to fall and for you to get the victory. That's why verse 37, he says, nay, in all these things, in all of the attacks and all of the trials and all of the famine, the persecution, the distress, the, the, uh, the uh, demonization. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. 
So we're still vic the, the victor the victors, even though we look like we're being attacked. All right, even though on the scoreboard you see Esau with you know uh, uh, more punches thrown, so to speak. You know, I'm speaking speaking uh, uh, metaphorically, but all the Lord needs is in that twelfth round <laughs> to set up that one counter punch because you can have. You know, in boxing, you can land more punches. But if you get if if one if that if your enemy of your uh, um, your opponent hits you one time at the right time in a right spot and knocks you out, guess what? They that your opponent wins. It doesn't matter how many punches you've landed. If he knocks you out, the the the, the fight is over. He's the victor. He's the champion. Okay. And that's what the Lord is going to do, man. For for what? For his the ones who have trust and believe in him, his elect. All right, so let me get this. And Wisdom of Solomon now I'll go back to that. And I end it with this. Um, so like it. Wisdom of Solomon 3, verse uh, 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And, the, and their departure is taken from misery. For their going from us is to be utter, so like it, for their going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality, having been a little chastised. All right, those, those jabs, those, you know, uh, straights, all right, that we got to endure, right? That's a little chastisement. They shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself, as gold in is as gold in the furnace hath He tried them, and received them as a burnt offering. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign for ever. They that put their trust in Him shall understand truth and such as be faithful all right if you're faithful you stay in the ring you stay fighting striving for the truth in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he has care for his elect okay so hey man the, the counter punch is coming okay we just got to endure it and stay steadfast and be unmovable man because Victory is already given unto the ones who are it stays in the ring, unto the ones who trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, so hey, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.